Some of those votes are in the crucial seat of Bentley in Melbourne's southeast. It's a seat Labor must hold to have any chance of hanging on to power. Counting resumed there this afternoon. Here's our state political reporter Josie Taylor with the latest. Well, counting of about 3,000 early votes at Bentley finished a short time ago for the day. The Victorian Electoral Commission says the Liberals are now leading in the seat of Bentley by more than 400 votes. There are still votes to count, but the Commission says that on its provisional figures, the Liberals have won the seat. Now, this is the writing on the wall for the Labor Party. This is a sign indicating the Coalition will take power and that Ted Bailey will be the next Premier. But neither side are commenting officially yet. There are still more than half a million pre-poll votes left to count. That will begin tomorrow morning. The Electoral Commission says their priority for that counting are the seats of Eltham, Ballarat East and Macedon. Labor is most pessimistic about Eltham. The other seats in doubt are Monbolk, Narrewarren North and Albert Park. Now, with a defeat imminent, my sources say there is a realistic outlook at the senior level of the Labor Party. Labor believes it is heading to opposition, and a senior source told me it will be the strongest opposition Victoria has ever seen. In terms of a leadership challenge, there is no tide of recrimination coming from within Labor, except perhaps to their pollster. Back to you, Tam.